G'day, I'm Jason Hodges and today we're going to talk about Tiff Tough Hybrid Bermuda. Now Australia can be a pretty harsh environment, hot, dry summers and yes, droughts. And to keep your lawn looking good, you've got to put water on it and then there's the bill that comes with it. Now with that challenge in mind, the leading turf scientists from around the world have come up with Tiff Tough. The result is the best drought tolerant grass we've ever seen in Australia and it's the first turf grass to ever receive the smart approved watermark not just here in Australia but right across the world. Tiff Tough, the name says it all, it is tough and the best thing about it, it's got a super fine leaf blade to it and it's really dense so it's perfect for so many applications and different uses. Its density enables it to handle high wear situations like backyards and sporting fields and its fine blade ensures that it's a very soft lawn to walk on. I'm no foot model, but if I knew we were getting this shot, could have at least put fake tan on. Shade. Tiff Tough requires a little bit of sun. It's probably a medium on the scale of how much shade it can handle. And if it gets four to six hours of sunlight a day, it'll thrive. Drought tolerance. Tiff Tough is a grass that's been bred to stand up to drought conditions and save you water. It requires considerably less water to maintain growth and appearance. Tiff Tough requires 38% on average less water than other turf varieties and that's pretty cool. It requires less water to get established and if you start to turn the water off a little bit it'll slow down its maintenance which means you might mow the lawn a little bit less. Preparation and installation. Tiff Tough is a very densely matted grass with exceptional tensile strength and extensive rhizomes and root growth beneath the grass surface. Before you lay your Tiff Tough lawn, it's important that you follow a few simple steps. Important points for Tiff Tough installation. Kill off any existing vegetation using glyphosate or any non-selective herbicides. Install the grass as soon as possible after delivery. Lay on a bed of 50 to 100 mil of quality turf underlay. Launch of fertiliser is not recommended during the peak growing season. Roll to compact new turf to improve contact with the soil. Soak the newly laid turf thoroughly for the first 10 to 14 days after installation or until it's fully established. Reduce irrigation once established and water only when the grass appears to be dry. Mow the lawn as soon as the grass is bedded in. That means it's started to grow roots. Now this could happen as soon as three to five days after installation. Important points for irrigation of Tiff Tough. If watering is needed once established, water only when you can see signs that the grass is drying out, as excess irrigation can actually hinder the grass rather than help it. Do not overwater in the cooler months. If irrigation is needed, water deeply and soak that top 100 mil of soil. Water in the early morning for improved efficiency and plant health. Fertilizer requirements. Tiff Tough has been scientifically bred to require less food, which means less fertiliser. It'll use about one third of what you'd use on other varieties of turf. Now that's a huge saving. And if you were to put more on, all you're going to do is promote more growth, which means you'll be mowing more often. Tiff Tough's been bred to mow at lots of different heights. Now with the sporting field market in mind, it can be as low as five millimetres. And in the backyard, you can go as high as 36, which is just over an inch. Now, if you've left a little bit long, just be mindful not to go too hard too early. You want to leave a little bit of green on it when you're giving it a haircut. Important points for mowing Tiff Tough. Ensure that your mowing blades are sharp to prevent tearing of the leaf. Never remove more than a third of the leaf canopy at any one time unless you're dethatching. Mowing frequency can be greatly reduced if you control your irrigation and your fertilizer input. Tiff Tough can be kept between 5 mil and 36 mil for home lawns, but anything below about 25 mil is recommended for best appearance. If excess scalping is occurring, increase your mower height and allow the leaf to grow to your desired level. If needed, dethatch in early spring for best results. So if you're looking for a drought tolerant, tough lawn that's perfect for a high traffic area like a backyard, Tiff Tough Hybrid Bermuda is perfect.